said this for a couple of other episodes before. I feel like I've said this for a couple of other episodes before. The, but this this week's episode for Boruto was basically just like a nothing episode. So it was very weird. So we go back and we continue where we left off last week. Where they are like, okay, we gotta sneak in into the cellar to try to find some information on how to get the Ultra Particles that are supposed to heal Naruto's like weird fucking six paths disease or some shit. So like the messenger from the prime minister from like the castle ends up showing up in the episode. Sakura, uh, with the help of Sasuke, like puts him under a genjutsu and knocks him out. And then Sakura disguises herself as the messenger. And then basically the whole entire like like whole like rest of the episode, besides like a small portion where like Sasuke and a couple of the other members in the prison are like in the prison cell and they're messing around with one of the uh, dinosaurs that. Zanzo has um, the whole like rest of the episode is basically just Sakura trying to buy Sasuke time as he's like slowly trying to create like a key with Earth style to open a, like the door to go into the cellar in Zanzo's office. Disguise like as Sakura's dis disguise as the messenger, and it's just like it spent so long doing that, just dragging out the episode for most of the runtime of basically nothing happening whatsoever which is very funny afterwards because Sasuke finds another locked door as he is going down in the cellar and he creates the key in like two seconds and meanwhile it took him like five hours just to make the other key for the other freaking door so it's like why did it take so long it's just to pad out the time for the episode because he wanted to I don't know he just wanted to mess around I guess I don't know Maybe Sasuke was having a fucking wank as he was, like, trying to create the key. I don't know what happened. Um, so what does Sasuke end up finding out when he, like, like is in the cellar? Uh, he finds a whole bunch of chickens in there, and he finds a whole bunch of fossils that were dug up by all the prisoners. And the reason for that is because the fossils are actually the dinosaurs that Zanzo actually uses to make sure that the prisoners are in check. And how does he get the dinosaurs from the fossils? He's using a different style of reanimation jutsu, so as we know, Edo Tensei, or the reanimation jutsu, is something that was very pivotal to the story of Naruto Shippuden, specifically because uh, the second Hokage created the jutsu, Orochimaru perfected the jutsu, and then Kabuto later then used it during the war arc and created an entire army for the, the Akatsuki and Madara and Obito to use it. Uh, against the shinobi uh, the great shinobi alliance uh and so basically like the same thing is happening and zanzu is reanimating these deceased dinosaurs from hundreds of millions of years ago with the chickens as the sacrifice uh and then what ends up happening later is that sasuke uh finds the dinosaur the the meno uh, as he called it uh from later on in the or earlier on in the episode and he infuses his chakra into the meno uh, or into meno and he overrides the control f that zanzo had over the the creature and now it's basically sasuke's pet and what we find out later on in uh, at the very end of the episode is zanzo's uh reanimating these dinosaurs to basically create an entire army for presumably it's to help the prime minister uh uh, overthrow the throne probably so they can take control over the land and basically Sasuke uh, Sakura and Kakashi who was around and he was he was he was still around I don't understand why he wouldn't still be around he's probably doing something I don't know what it is but he's doing something uh, <laughs> um, they're basically just gonna have to end up stopping that and we saw in like that that scene, by the way, that Zanzo wasn't the one who was actually doing the jutsu himself. He actually had someone else doing it, and it's pretty obvious who it was. I don't remember what his name is, but it's that blonde guy uh, that's been talking about like how uh, it's that blonde guy who like early on in the episode he takes like the twig that the old man had, and he's the one that like as like dr like brings the meno towards the uh, the prison gate or the uh the cell gate there you go and he's also the one that like ended up finding out that sakura is sasuke's wife right and he's like talking about like his girlfriend and how they're like gonna propose and all that stuff it's that one random blonde guy that sasuke tells us shares a cell with he's probably the one who's doing the jutsu most likely and it's kind of setting up that that's who it is it doesn't matter the episode didn't do anything 
um, because it spent most of its runtime trying to s slowly open a door, uh, which was hilarious to me uh, in retrospect when I realized how much of the episode had already passed by the time Sasuke finally opened the freaking door. Uh, that's it. That's the episode. I don't really know what you want me to say because nothing of actual substance ended up happening in the episode other than Sasuke getting a pet dinosaur, and that's it. Uh, yeah, that's all I have. Uh, if you liked the video, be sure to leave a like. If you want to see more, please be sure to subscribe. I didn't say this in my video yesterday for the My Hero Academia review, uh, but check out my YouTube short, my recent YouTube short on the Velma show. It's been doing really well, like better than most of my other YouTube shorts. So if you haven't seen it, go check it out. I'd really appreciate that. But other than that, uh, like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe if you want to see more. I'm out. Peace.